All right, so I just turned on my Verizon uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, and uh, today's the December 14th. And I can see it says an update will start in one minute and 50 seconds. I can make calls. Approximate time of this update will take 10 minutes. So let's see if this is the update to Android 4.1. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it is. And this is the first time I've actually seen an over the air update actually land the day it's supposed to land. Usually it takes a while, but uh, so let's hit OK, and um, we'll go from there. It's about to restart. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Who knows? It should take about 10 minutes. We're not going to actually record a 10 minute video here, uh, but we will see what happens. So, zoom in a little closer for you guys here. See what the process of this update is. Android is updating. Should be fun. So we're going to cut through. We're not going to do a 10 minute video as we mentioned and show you um, some of the things that happen and what, what's new, what's fresh with Android, of course, 4.1, which we know because we'll get Google now, bunch of butterfly, things like that in there. Um, OS improvements, all that fun stuff. But all right, so let's, uh, let's go through. So our system has been updated, it took about 10 minutes. As you can see, it starts off with the prompts uh, for the tutorial when you first um, uh, get your smartphone. So we're just going to hit that and say, don't show again. OK, you can slide down. Let's see what we have for new options. Hmm. Go to menu, switching to global mode. Software has been updated uh, for the Galaxy S3. So let's see what we have here. Go to settings, scroll back, about Android 4.1.1. See, so we've been updated to Android 4.1.1. Jelly Bean, system ICS. Should give you faster, smoother operations. See in there, you can see what else we have. Overall, um, you know, that's the update process. Very quick, uh, very easy, uh, pretty much uh, pain free. Uh, you should see, uh, you should get most of the Android Fopo 1 uh, capabilities here, like Google Now. We can hold that down. If we hit Google, that brings up Google Now, which we can set up and opt into if we want to, or opt out, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, this is just quickly showing you how to update your Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Uh, update came in on the 14th, so go ahead, check yours out. Maybe your update's available. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with 2.0. So this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.